Wow, if we could just transport ourselves back in time over 2,000 years ago. On Friday, Jesus had been tortured, beaten. He carried his cross as far as he could carry it. And he took him to Calvary. And in Calvary, where he died on that cross for the sins of the whole world. It was in that moment that all the dreams and hopes of the disciples, all those that he touched, all those that he loved, they lost that hope because in the grave he went. And with it went all their hopes and dreams. Two days have gone by. Now three days have gone by. Mary and some of the other women decide to visit the tomb. And getting there, they see the stone is rolled away. And there's an angel dressed in white there. Who do you come? Who are you looking for? They said, Jesus, where have you taken him? He's not here anymore. He's risen. He's alive. And so it's on that moment that everything changed for the disciples. Everything changed for his followers. But it is in that moment that everything changed for you and me. Jesus paid the price completely, totally, and irrevocably for all of our sins, past, present, and future. And now he's alive. We don't serve a dead savior. We serve a living Lord. He's seated at the right hand of God in heaven now. All heaven, all the angels, all the heavenly host and beings stood on that moment as he was resurrected from that grave. And it's his resurrection that we celebrate this morning on Easter. It's his resurrection that changed our lives. It's his resurrection that made it possible for us to be reconciled back to God. It's his resurrection that changed everything. So this morning, as you gather here together, let's celebrate the risen Lord. There is none like him. There is none that compares to him. He has changed not only our lives, but he's changed the whole world. Jesus, our Savior. Jesus, our Lord. Jesus, the King of the universe. He's alive.